Come with me. Come with me to discover the secrets of how thoughts become things, and we will manifest like never before. Come with me, and we'll discover a secret so powerful that will take you far beyond your dreams. Come with me on an unforgettable journey. Come with me. It's already yours. Get ready for this adventure. And I'm thankful for today that you found us. So get ready. The time is now. I'm Zelda Kelly. Welcome to Secrets Laws of Attraction. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. I am excited to bring this episode of Secrets Laws of Attraction to you because I think it's important. I'm seeing and hearing from a lot of you that there are questions regarding shedding pounds and subtracting inches. So I want to take a moment, tell you to relax, get out a piece of paper and a pencil. We may hear a few meows from Meowtown. We don't know. It seems like they're all resting in the background, so this is a good time for me to rest and bring this to you. So welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. So first and foremost, I want you to know that you are beautiful, you are handsome, you are loved, you are awesome, and you were purposely and wonderfully made. You have a purpose, and there is a plan for you. Even if you don't know what it is right now, that's okay. You will. But how does that tie in now with shedding pounds and subtracting inches? Well, first of all, let's back up a little bit. How many times have you said, Boy, I just need to lose some weight. Oh, man, my weight has gotten completely out of control. It doesn't matter what I eat. It all goes to my hips. It doesn't matter what I think. I can eat nothing, and it still shows that I've gained weight on the scale. How many times have you heard that? How many times have you said, I just need to get rid of these 20, 30, 40 pounds? I hate the way that I look. I can't stand the way that I look in the mirror. I avoid a mirror. I avoid shopping for clothes. I just close my eyes every time I think that I have to go somewhere because nothing that I have fits. I just hate, how did I let this get out of control? How did I ever get to this place in my life? I used to be so beautiful. I used to be so thin. Everyone thought that I was gorgeous. Everyone thought that everyone, everyone. I bet you at least resonate with one or two, maybe three, and maybe even all of those statements. While you feel that may be right and your truth, let's dissect this a minute, okay? I want to tell you about a story long ago. This woman, I was out in public somewhere. We, we were, I was, I was somewhere, I think at a basketball game, something like this. And this lady walks up. Now, I want you to know that this lady was clearly had extra pounds. But I got to tell you, she was beautiful. I can't remember when I've seen a more beautiful woman. Blonde hair, makeup, just gorgeous. And the way that she attracted, she sat on those bleachers. She went alone and she literally left with someone. She, the, the men, and I'm not kidding, these, these were not men that you would think, oh, well, they couldn't get anybody else. Oh, no, no. The men that were attracted to her, 
and even women, I have to admit it was very hard for me to even not watch what she was doing. I went to the restroom. There she was. And we started talking, and I, I told her, I said, listen, I, I have to tell you, you are beautiful. And she said, thank you very much, and started to smile. And she said, I know what you're going to ask next. Now, this was years ago, my dears. This, this was years ago, at least, at least 40 years ago. And I'm sure she's just as beautiful, if not more beautiful now. But she asked me, she said, you know, I bet I know what you're about to ask me. And I said, I bet you do too. And I said, I don't want you to think that I'm some serial nut, but it's very hard for me to take my eyes off of you. What are you doing? Because I thought, oh gosh, maybe she was into some type of dark arts. I mean, everything, it, it was just like these men were under a spell and the women could not stop watching this. We were all wondering, what on earth? She said to me, I learned a long time ago, self-worth, confidence, independence, and knowing that I am beautiful no matter what. I am comfortable and happy with the way that I am. I don't feel like I have to change for anyone I don't feel like I have to change for myself because I have more friends, more money, and I have more opportunity than any one person could possibly ever have. My dears, she was practicing the laws of attraction. That was pretty cool. And the fact that I remembered that, I, and that's, that's what my lesson was. And it's for you today. You see, it's not about getting rid of that 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, maybe even more. It's not about subtracting those inches. It is about your self-love. Let's dissect this even more. What happens when you go on to a diet? The first thing you want to do is you want to start Monday morning. So now on Friday, you think, okay, I'm going to eat like a field hand <laughs> on the weekend. So that way, I'm not going to want to eat on Monday. I'll have those 11 pounds of M&Ms on the weekend. So I don't want any on Monday. Well, let me tell you what you've just done. You've set your intention for having everything that you don't want. Because what happens when Monday morning comes? You dread it. You get out of the bed and the first thing you think of is, oh gosh, I'm on a diet today. What am I going to have for lunch? Oh gosh, no, nothing ever sounds good. How can I do this? Well, I sure hope I lose something. By Wednesday, it would really be nice if I could at least lose five pounds by the next weekend because... I have this pair of pants and I know that I bought them too small and I know that I'm just not going to fit into them. So now maybe if I starve myself and what happens? It happens to all of us. You stand in front of the refrigerator and you look in there and then you close it. You roll your eyes in disgust and then you walk away. Pretty soon you're back in front of the cabinet you're opening the cabinet and you're standing there with your hand on your hip, the other hand on the cabinet door. You're looking at all the boxes of all the good stuff that you can't have. And then you think, wow, why did I do this? Because I don't have anything that I can eat. Oh, gosh. So I know what's going to happen. I'm not going to lose any weight anyhow. So I'll just take a little nibble of this. Do you see what happens? Or when you do eat it, you feel so absolute guilty that it's hard for you to recover the next day. So I'm going to tell you this. Now is the time. Right now. 
now. You got that? Now. Write it down. Because now is the time when you should be looking at yourself and saying, I feel great. I feel beautiful. I get more and more beautiful every day. The pounds shed quickly off of me. Those inches are subtracted automatically from me. I feel great as the day goes on. I walked yesterday. I'm walking today. I'm walking tomorrow. Now, why do you do that? Because we have 70,000 plus thoughts per day. 95% of those 70,000 thoughts per day are carries over from the day before, and the day before that, and the day before that. So that's why you have to start now. You have to write down, I look great, 20, 30, 40 pounds lighter. I feel fantastic. I love myself. I'm so confident. Everyone is attracted to me. Men are attracted to me. Ladies love the way that I look and want to know makeup tips. I mean, you figure this out, what works for you. And you will. So I want you to believe this, that everything th you think you don't want you will get. Seriously. That's how the laws of attraction work. You see, the law of attraction is like the manager of the world. So if we, if we go down a road and we think, okay, well, I want something positive in my life. I want money. I want love. I want a new house. I want a new car. I want to be healthy. I, I want a new man, I want a new woman, I want a new partner, I want a new specific person, I want a new dog, I want a new cat, I want a new sofa. But I just don't think that's going to happen. That's not in the cards for me. I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I can't work, how am I going to get a new car? That's ridiculous, I can't get a loan. So what is that? That's called resistance. And you've got to get that resistance away from you so that in two or three days when you're having those thoughts that were left over from today, get it? What you do today is setting you up tomorrow, the next day, the next seven days, the next seven months. So you better start today with changing the way you think. And if you want to see changes in your body, changing the way you think is first and foremost, because I can tell you, you can do any diet that you want to do. And if you're not on the right mindset, you're going to fail. If, you've, if you're listening to this today, this is not, well, it's, it's not an accident. You were brought here for a reason because you're having problems with your mindset. So set your intention. Set that. So don't focus on the weight that you have to get rid of. Now I'm going to tell you something. You don't want to use the word lose. There are two words here. I'm going to really be tough on you now because I love you. You can't say you're going to lose weight because in the back of your mind... In the back of all of our minds, we always want to find something that we've lost. We see posters of things that people lost, wanted. I've lost this person. I've lost this animal. I've, I've lost this item. I've lost this circumstance, this situation. So now I have to find it. If you say that you want to lose weight, your weight loss will be temporary. It will be a struggle for you to fight it and keep it off. You are shedding those pounds, so you are no longer thinking about that. So you cannot think about losing weight. Here's the second word. I'm trying. I'm trying we all use that, but I want you to know what happens when you try 
It's the same as a trial. It's a trial basis. Try this today. Try this for 30 days. You get it for $3.95 for the first 30 days, and then afterward it's $75.95. But try it today. Because if you make it through the first 30 days of this trial, we're really going to sock it to you on the second trial. You get it? It is a trial period, which means it ain't going to last long. I'm trying. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get over that person. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to get good grades. I'm trying to get a new job. Stop trying. Start doing. Start doing. I know that it's hard for you to think, oh gosh, that's just ridiculous. How can I do that? Well, I want you to know that until you've heard this message, that's what you've been doing. And how's that working out for you? It hasn't been, has it? So now you're shedding weight and you're subtracting those inches. The last thing that I'm going to leave you with and I think it's really, really important, is that, you know, we're now we're talking about Olympics. We always like Olympics. We, we always view these wonderful, I'm going to say professional athletes, that's their lifestyle. We admire them for their tenacity and how they work so hard at it. But they're not working so hard for several reasons and then getting the opposite because it's all in their mindset. Their main goal is to win and to win a medal and that's their main goal. Everything else is secondary. But their mindset, if you talk to an Olympic athlete and you ask them, how do you feel about this? They're going to say, I feel like I'm going to win the medal. And it's almost going to be an attitude because then they're going to say, well, why are you even asking? It's a given. I'm here to win. So now for you, the important, the important part for you to really think about, and this is going to pull all of this together for you, I like to watch downhill skiing, and I'm going to use this as the metaphor for you to remember this, and probably in future episodes, I'm going to be mentioning this as well, because I want to ingrain this in you. So, so I like these, all these athletes that ski downhill. I love it, but every time they do, I watch with like one eye closed because they are skiing downhill speeds through trees and through all kinds of obstacles and oh my goodness. Now, I want you to know something that the coach does when he is coaching. He helps them retain a different mindset. Because what is it when you think about that? When I think about it, I think, oh my gosh, that would be more than a tragedy if one of these beautiful skiers hit a tree. Well, the coach doesn't look at the skier and say, now be careful, don't hit a tree. Because <laughs> you know what happens. When you're trying to be careful and not do something, that's when it happens. You know that. When you're trying to walk in front of this new man in your new high heels, and what do you do? The first thing you think of is, oh gosh, if I can just not trip. What do you do? You trip, right? So you don't want to create your mindset as, if I don't lose the weight, I'm a failure. If I weigh a certain poundage, I am a failure. You want to look at yourself first as a wonderful, attractive person. People are attracted to you. You're beautiful the way you are. You eat in a certain way that your body follows. You're happy when you eat. And when you do that, 
you realize that you don't need the whole pizza. You, you get full on one slice. So there's other things that you can think of. I'm getting back to the skier now. Don't lose me. There are other things you can think of. I get full quickly and easily. I'm happy. My body is happy with what I eat. I'm happy with one small portion. I'm happy. I'm happy with every day. I'm happy because I'm walking. I'm happy because I'm working out. And when you start focusing on your own happiness and where your mindset is, your body's going to follow and you watch. When you start telling the situation what you want, what you expect, then the situation will conform. When you start telling your body that it loses weight safely and quickly, your body will lose weight safely and quickly. Right? Did you catch that? Lose? Good. I want you to get that so you do catch that. So what do we say now? My body sheds pounds. My body subtracts inches. Quickly, safely, I'm having a great time. I'm having fun. I have a goal of going on this vacation on X amount of date. I know I'm going to look great. That's the suit I want. That is the dress that I'm going to have. That is the pair of shoes that I'm going to have. That is the makeup that I'm buying. You see what I'm saying? So back to the skier. So instead of the coach telling the skier, don't, don't look at the trees, the coach tells the skier, watch the path. Look at the path. Concentrate on the path. Concentrate. Concentrate. Focus on the path that you are taking so you don't hit a tree, so you don't hit a dead end, so you don't, so you don't crash in the middle of your wonderful idea and your goal and you have to start over again. Because that coach knows that the moment that you plant that seed, don't hit a tree, they're going to be focusing on not hitting a tree. And what's the ultimate tragic end? I don't even want to say it. So I want you to focus on your path. Focus on having a good time. Shedding the weight and subtracting the pounds and subtracting the inches and shedding the inches and it's all going to fall off of you. And you're looking even greater every day. Now this means that you don't get up on Monday morning and you weigh yourself and then you weigh yourself Monday at noon and then you weigh yourself Monday at I guess 4 o'clock and then again on Tuesday morning, Tuesday noon and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You don't do that sort of thing. Not when you're focusing on your path. You might get up Monday morning And you might start walking, and you might start having a good time, and then Friday, gee, when you think about it, you might be able to weigh yourself then, but only as a guide. It's not to be forbidden. It's not to be dreaded. It's not to be rolling your eyes, right? What it is, is your path that you concentrate on. Concentrate on the path. Now, you're feeling thin again. You're feeling lighter. And you can write that down. See, these things you need to be writing down in a journal. I keep saying, you got to write it down, you got to write it down. And I know people, but Zelda, I don't like to write. I don't like to read. I don't like to write. I don't like to do this. I don't like to do this. Well, good luck then on your journey because you need a journal in your journey. And what happens when you write it down? It resonates with your reticular activating system and setting your intentions, right? So now you're focusing on the path. And focusing on the path is good for every 
instance every subject that you're attracting. Money, a specific person, love, relationship, health. So when you focus on your path, when you're shedding the pounds and you're subtracting the inches, then it almost becomes a no-brainer because now, writing it down, you're lighter. You feel light today. You feel happy today. You don't do things that sabotage, which go out and buy a pair of jeans that are four times smaller and think that's going to motivate you. Because the more you try to fit in those jeans, the more you're going to get discouraged and those jeans are going to land in the bottom drawer and you're going to end up forgetting about them. And then you're going to avoid them because you don't, you, you don't want to v- revisit that hurt, disappointment, failure. Those are words that are not going to be in your vocabulary, right? Focus on the path, not on the trees. Focus on the path, not on the trees. Your everyday words, mindset, will make a difference. And this will become fun. And for those of you who like to see instant results and you need a little, well, instant gratification, buy yourself one of those undergarments that help pull you in a little. That's going to be great. You go out, people are going to look at you and they're going to say, oh my gosh, you look great. What have you been doing? Right? So you smile and you don't say, well, I bought an undergarden because I'm undergarment because I'm trying to lose weight. No, you don't do that. You smile and you say, thank you. Thank you. And that's it. Take a compliment. Don't say, I'm trying. I hope I can reach my goal. I'm trying. This means that you don't have to dread eating rabbit food and just nibble around because that's not good for your body. And your body doesn't understand what you're doing because you're telling it you're going into survival mode when you do that. So, You'll know what you you'll know what to do instinctively. And the more that you do this, the more that your mind is going to catch you when it says, Oh, you know what? You can have another four or five slices of those pizza, of uh, that pizza. No. Oh, you know what? Two or three cans of those chips. It won't hurt me. I'm on the laws of attraction. No. This is all about becoming healthy and safely. Shedding the pounds, subtracting the inches. Focus on your path. It is a mindset. Write it down. Write your progress down. So now, remember, what do you think about today is what you're thinking about tomorrow. So don't be dreading it today. Don't be disgusted with yourself today. Don't be, well, thinking that this is ridiculous Because tomorrow, you may look back on today and think, why didn't I start? That's the one thing you don't want to have is guilt and regret. Why didn't I start two weeks ago when I could have? Why don't I want to? Don't let your body dictate you. Don't let those thoughts dictate you. And there's one more thing I'm going to say. Stay away from those fat shows right? And there's a little experiment that I started, and I wanted to share it with you. Because I am not watching those fat shows, all of a sudden, these, I'm, I guess these premieres have started showing up in my social media. Oh, look at this poor person. This poor person is getting one of those lap bands or this poor person is doing this. First of all, if you start sympathizing, which you should have empathy, 
But if you start sympathizing and and feeling, oh, you know what, that poor person, I certainly could, un- I can understand. Whoops, there it goes. Now you know that you can feel sorry, and that is emotional eating. The other thing is that it triggers you eating, mindless eating. When you watch these shows, watch the commercials that go with them. Or the, what is, what's the first thing you, th- you, you kind of glide over everything and you see what that person's eating and say, oh my gosh, Burger King, I haven't had that in a long time. Oh my gosh, look at that pizza. Did you see the cake that that part? Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. I think I'm just going to go down to the bakery and get them on. And then you're eating the whole cake because it's so good and you're concentrating on how it tastes and not how full you are. So now I will share with you the most important key to this whole new process that you have. Not only is it pay attention to your path, keep your eyes on the path, but now think about your accomplishments. That's really, really important. I walked yesterday. Yay! I went to the gym. Fantastic! I feel so great when I go out and I have great conversations with my friends and my family. And and by the way, we had lunch. You see where I'm getting at? Think about your accomplishments, not about your losses. Your accomplishments. Because the more you start thinking about how you're accomplishing things, that thought process carries over to the next day and then to the next week, and then to the next month. You get it. So think about your accomplishments. And I'm, st- I'm, I'm trying to drill that in because we are so programmed to fail. Isn't it so sad how much we are programmed to fail? I so do appreciate you in listening to this because I know there are people out there that really need to hear it. It's all good, my darling. And I feel, I feel this time now, you are going to be a great success. You can expect this success. Don't forget gratitude, thankfulness. That plays an important part, but feel the end results. Know how your end results... Put that picture in your mind, how you will look, and you will feel so wonderful. Keep your chin up. Keep your eyes forward. Look people in the face and smile. Get used to being attractive because you're there. So back up. Start writing down your intentions, your very positive thoughts, that you're putting into your subconscious through the filtering system of the reticular activating system. I'll get it out. And you follow your path. And you ignore the trees. Follow the path. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today on this Secrets Laws of Attraction You know I'm thinking of you. You know that I wish you well. And if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. I really wish you very, very well. I want you to be blessed and you be very brave heart. And happy manifesting. Let me know how you're doing on your journey, this journey. And I know that you're going to be very successful. Today is the day. Follow the path. And I'll see you very, very soon on the next Secrets, Laws of Attraction. Bye for now.